Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. He Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful overcast day here, but it's really warm, and the birds are singing. I love springtime. I love springtime. Praise God, praise God. You know, this is another day that the Lord hath made. We should rejoice and be glad in it. Be happy. Be happy. I know the situation looks gloomy, but let me tell you something. I'm not wanting to go around and sing the blues and cry, cry, cry over all of the circumstances that are happening right now. The Bible said, lift up your heads because your redemption draweth nigh. I'm excited about the coming of the Lord. Amen. I know his coming is very nigh, even as we speak. I'm just grateful to God to be alive. I'm grateful to God to be alive. This is the most exciting time in the history of mankind to be alive, to be alive, and to know that the scripture says that the coming of the Lord is very, very much at hand. Praise God. Praise God. Let me read to you a scripture. Let me read it to you. Verse 32, St. John 8 and verse 32. He says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Who is the truth here? Christ himself. He's the truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But he got some opposition. Look at what, he, what the other people, what the people said in verse 33. They answered him, we be Abraham's seed and very boastful about it as well, and saying, we were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Notice that. Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. May the Lord add the blessing of the reading of his word. Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. See, that's what Jesus came for, was to forgive us our sins and to bear and bear them, our sins, on the cross. See, there's a way that Jesus came. He was, let me tell you something, more than just a man. He came to forgive us. He came to forgive us. He didn't come to kill us. He didn't come to harass us. He didn't come to beat us down and cause us to have a lot of affliction and pain. He came that we might have life. Praise his name. God bless you today. Let me tell you that Jesus came. He said, I am come. I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. That's what it is, folks. There's life in Christ. There's death in sin. See, Adam fell to sin. Back in the beginning, Adam fell to sin. And let me tell you something, folks. Jesus came to make a correction about that. He came, and let me tell you something. He was referred to as the second Adam. And let me tell you, he came to forgive us of our sins. He came to set us free from our sins. You need to understand something if you haven't already understood this. Sin is not talked about no more. Nobody talks about it. Even the big guys on TV that supposedly are ministers of the word, they hardly ever mention it anymore. Most people are just uh, satisfied with going along and, and just blend in with it. And let me tell you something, it becomes a way of life for them. But see, it's an addiction. The more you do it, the more you practice lying, the better you'll get at it. The more you practice uh, doing this and doing that, the better you'll get at it. And it just comes natural. See, man is a fallen creature. Man is a fallen creature. And without God, he has no reverence. He has no, no, no desire to do something that's right. He does not have an, you have a sin nature. It's right into your blood. It's right into your instincts. It's right into your very being. It's right into the core of your very being. An instinct. And let me tell you, Jesus said here, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He is literally saying to these people, 
I am the one that can be and will be responsible for breaking sin's back and delivering you from it. Yes, you can be delivered from your sin. Whether it be alcoholism, whether it be all kinds, and I can name a million of these that would apply to this application of sin. If it's not righteousness, it is sin. It's unrighteousness. It's not of God. But Christ said here, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. See that, like I said a while ago, there's no truth in America anymore. Everything is based on a lie. It's an illusion. It's a trick of the devil. Let me tell you, that's the way the devil operates. He leads you into sin, and you get deeper, and you get deeper, and you get deeper into it. You need a deliverer. You need a deliverer. And let me tell you something. When he delivers you from sin, you, go, you don't go back into it anymore. You turn your back on it. You walk away from it. You run from it. Oh, you say, Kenny, I just don't quite believe it that way. I'm a church member. I'm very religious. I keep the commandments. I don't go out here and run around and do crazy stuff. I don't do drugs. The devil's using drugs right now and killing millions of people. Let me tell you, it's an addiction. Sin is an addiction, drug addiction. It's basically, it's just a trick of the devil to kill you. What did the devil do? What did he come for? The Bible said the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. Destroy. Drugs destroy lives. But I'm telling you, Jesus can set you free from it. Drugs destroy lives. It takes young lives. It takes the old lives. The only answer for drug addiction, listen, rehab is good. Rehab is good, and it helps. It really helps. Friends help. And I'm going to tell you something. Many of you right now, probably nine out of ten of you that maybe would watch me, <clears throat> you know somebody or you have somebody in your family that's hooked on drugs. Drugs, 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 drugs. And they can't quit. They can't quit. Listen, you can't stop lying on your own. You cannot stop stealing on your own. You can't stop drinking on your own. You can't stop smoking on your own. You need a deliverer. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, there's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. Oh, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, there's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. There's wonderful working power in the blood. It's the blood of Jesus that takes away our sins. It's the blood of Christ that sets us free from sins. It's those that do the work, Christ himself. He bled and he died for our sins. And let me tell you something, if you'll confess them, that's the secret to getting deliverance, is you confess your sins. The Bible said if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When your sins are forgiven, when you give your heart to God, it's as if Everything in your past has been erased. Everything is erased. Everything is erased. All of that conviction, all of that death sentence, all of that sin that you're involved in, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. You're justified. Let me tell you, you're cleansed. You become a child of God when you confess your sins. Listen, you could spend every penny that you've got going to doctors and going to psychiatrists and going to uh, people that will counsel you and counsel you and instruct you and advise you and motivate you, but they can't take away your sin. They can't make you who you should be in Christ. Only he, only he 
can forgive you of your sins. And let me tell you something. You can get deliverance. You can get deliverance. Most people say, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. You don't know how bad my circumstances are. You don't know how much I'm suffering. You don't know what I'm going through. No, I don't know what you're going through. But I know the answer. I know the answer. You know, everybody talks about the problems, but they don't talk about the answers. No, 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 no. They're too busy putting, let me tell you, all these great, great, beautiful people, as we would say. They're too busy talking about the problems, but they know nobody never talks about the answer. He, Jesus said, you shall know the truth. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He said it will make you free. Make you free. He's saying here, if you come to me and put your faith and put your focus on me, and you'll focus on me doing the work and not you. See, they can't do nothing for you. These great, great minds that you go and talk to and listen to all of these times, they just can't help you. They can instruct you to a degree. But Jesus said... I'm the one that can break this bondage. Praise God. I'm the one that can break this bondage and I can make you free. Wouldn't you like to be free from the bondage that you're under right now? I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're going through. But I'm telling you, there is power in the blood. There's deliverance if you'll come to Christ. Come to Christ. The world is going crazy. And everything is based on a lie. All of this stuff that's going on, oh, I'm telling you, it's very deceptive. People bite into lies. Listen, in these last days, people are going to be believe a lie and be damned. You don't need to listen to that garbage. You need Christ. Put your trust in him. Call upon him. If you're in bondage, Help, let him deliver you. Just call upon him. Call upon him and let him deliver you from sin. Let him deliver you from bondage. Whatever addiction it might be, Christ is able. Put your confidence in him. Trust in him. Praise God. Praise God. I want this to help you. I want this to encourage you. I want to motivate you. I want to inspire you. I want to get you started on the road to redemption. And it starts by just calling up on the name of the Lord. If you like this, you like this type of Bible scripture reading, if you like this type of instructing, listen, share this video with your family and with your friends. Would you do that? Share it with your family and with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, listen, just hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and you won't miss a single, single message. Would you do that? God bless you. Now it's time for me to show you another gun. And normally I use the word beauty or beautiful gun. This one just happens to be one of the first that's not so pretty to look at. But it's still a very effective gun. All right. Now, first of all, you're going to say, Kenny, you're not serious. And I'm going to say to you, listener, or you viewer, yes, I am. Yes, I am. But first, I want to say to you, if you're looking for something that's relatively cheap, relatively affordable, if you will, and you need something for home defense, and you are looking for something maybe to take down small game or even large game, look no further, look no farther than this. Let me show you this. Take a look. This is an old, old timey H&R. It's a topper. Yes, it's a topper. It's a model 88. H&R topper model 88. But notice here, this thing has been cut off. It's been cut off. The stock has got a pistol grip put on it. And notice that 
beautiful color. That's called electrical tape. Now, I did a previous video with this. I did a short. And actually, I got the barrel size wrong. This is 18 inches. It's got an 18-inch barrel on it. It's been sawed off. There's a ton of guns out there that you could select for home defense. I mean, you could get a revolver, you could get an automatic pistol of a million different brands, you can get a lever action, you can get a shotgun, you can get a pump. Oh, and there's so many, you can get an AR. Oh, I'm talking about the list is endless that you, you could select a gun for. But not everybody has a lot of cash to spend on something like that. In this particular case, I'm going to tell you something. This may be the cheapest route that you could go to get something that's effective for home defense. Home defense. Like I said, it's an H&R Topper Model 88. But look, the thing is solid. The thing is super accurate, and yes, I have shot it. It's perfectly legal. Don't jump back and say, oh my Lord, what is Kenny doing now? He's showing us something that's literally dangerous. Dangerous? No, 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 no. It's practical. It is simply practical. This is a 410. Now, it used to be full choke, but not now. Not now. It's a 410. And listen, what better gun for a beginner? Let's just put it this way. What better gun for a lady, a woman, that wants to defend herself or her property, her home, home defense? Look at this. That's not loaded. Of course, it's a single barrel. And everything works on it like I just told you. Now, you don't need a stock on a 410 to really do the trick. Look, you can shoot this thing just like the average pistol. Yeah, look, my hand fits that thing like a glove. You can point that out there just like that. Oh, and my goodness, just take out whatever small game you're going to shoot at. Now listen. That is a two and a half. I believe that's a number, I want to say four shot. I'm not sure. That's two and a half. It fits in this thing. Of course. Now that is a three inch Deer slug, three inch. And incidentally, this thing shoots three inch, three inch. And that's what I'm gonna be shooting right there. A nice slug. Now this thing doesn't have scope. It's as plain as plain Jane. Very super plain. Now don't tell me it's a piece of junk because I've not found that yet. Listen. I would have done this a little bit different here. I would have left, when I cut this off, I wouldn't have cut the grip entirely off, but I think it was broken as the reason why it was replaced. It might have been squished or crushed, but I would have left the stock, that part, this part here, this part here to there, I would have left it intact and sawed it off back here to fit my hand a little bit better. But nevertheless, this thing works. Don't call it junk. Have you ever heard the phrase, One's man junk, one man's junk is another man's treasure? I would not be afraid, even though this has got an 18-inch barrel on it, and it's perfectly legal, so don't tell me that uh, it wouldn't work. It will. 50 yards out there. I wouldn't be afraid to shoot that big buck with this thing. 
because I know what it will do when you put that slug in that, that big buck will fall to the ground. That's right, that's right. And listen, <clears throat> you're talking about a scatter, <clears throat> excuse me, you're talking about a scatter gun for home defense. You can't, can't possibly miss with something like this. There's not a chance. I remember years ago when I was a kid, I saw an old John Wayne movie. And you probably remember it if I mentioned the name of it. I think it was El Dorado. One of its co-stars had bought something similar to this. And I remember him saying, well, he couldn't shoot it. He didn't know anything about shooting a pistol a six gun. So he tried to teach him, but he couldn't learn him. But he, he bought him a sawed off shotgun like this with a pistol grip. And he said, you can't miss with this. You can't miss with this. Folks, listen, bottom line here, be prepared. If your house has not been broken into yet, and praise God, I hope it never gets that. But these intruders, they are not worried about no laws. They're not worried about anything of that nature. But they are actually given, they're actually, you know, pretty well just said, hey, we don't care. The government don't care if they break in on you and if they invade your home. They don't care. They don't care. Be ready. Get you something like this. I might show you a little bit of a demonstration very shortly, maybe, and I, I'm thinking about doing another one of these. I'm thinking about doing one for myself, really. This one's not mine, but I'm telling you, it's so easy to do. Make you a scatter gun. Make you a scatter gun. That's very effective. Now, I'm going to shoot this. Probably shoot four or five times. I want to show you what I do. Don't call this gun ugly. Don't call it garbage. Don't call it scrap. Don't call it nothing but an effective shotgun. A 410 that'll get the job done. Just point it, aim, and fire. And let me tell you something. It's effective. I'm going to rate it five stars. Praise God. For those of you that may say, Kenny, you can't be serious. Get ready for a channel change. I'm going to tell you, I'm changing the name of my channel. I want you to know it right now. God, Guns, and Kenny. God, Guns, and Kenny. Continue to bring you the word. Continue to bring you the gun. And listen know my name is Kenny and that's what we want to do for as long as God will let us once again five stars so you hang around we're going to show you just how effective this gun is All right now folks we are ready to shoot this beautiful gun we're using a nice three inch slug now I've got a big metal target up there and I'm gonna tell you it is thick steel so we're going to show you what this 410 single barrel shotgun that's been sawed off. Both ends has been sawed off. The stock as well as the barrel. Now it doesn't have a bead on it. Well, who needs a bead? So let's do this right now. Let's load this thing. Notice that. That, that, that shell ejector still works. Let's put this in here, ready to go. Now focus out there on that target. I'm gonna shoot about five times. Notice this, so easy to use. Focus on that target out there, that black spot. Awesome.
I want to tell you something. I'm going to stop a second. I would not be afraid to shoot a big buck with this 50, 60 yards. Now, you may not agree with that, but I'm telling you the truth. We're going to show you those targets and show you exactly what we've done here in a minute. Now, let me take my glasses off and turn around and say to you, if you're looking something that's inexpensive, easy to fix, easy to work on, and you can make it to fit your specifications, home defense, I don't think it could go wrong. And you're not investing an arm and a leg for home defense. You're not investing you're not breaking the bank to get something. Let me say to you, it's easy to do. Anybody can make one of these that would like to do it. Pick you up something inexpensive, saw it off both ends, and you got it done. We're going to show you that target. Listen, I appreciate you for watching. If you like the word and you like what we're doing, share this video with your friends and family. I will certainly appreciate it. You have a blessed day. Let's go see look, that target. Look at this target here, folks. Now, I, I shot a little bit high, but look at, look at that. That shot through that steel, and that is an eighth an inch. It's really an eighth inch thick. Look, I actually missed one. I was aiming to the middle of that target, but I missed one. Probably shot over that. Take a look at that. That's awesome.